This is my intro for now. Thanks to YouTube's rules, I cannot find a way to download trailer clips that I was going to incorporate in my intro. I will try to find a way around this, and if you have any ideas, message me. If you have a problem with this, grow a pair and watch the damn video. Thank you. Hello everybody, it is Jarrett here, and today is part 3 of my NASCAR series. And today is the Daytona 500. Um, so, I know it's been a while since part 2, but, uh, school just started up, so I haven't been able to play it lately. I was on vacation for the last two weeks of, uh, my summer, so that was hard. Now, getting back into school, I have a bunch of new classes, a bunch of tough classes, so it was a lot of work and stuff like that. But, finally, I am able to get back to this game for part three, and I'm excited because this is the first big race of the year. And, well, I'm starting back, and it kind of sucks, 43rd. But anyway, right now while Barney Hall is going through the driver intros, I might as well say that uh, I'm looking for a job, so I can uh, uh, get that recording device, so my channel can really start and grow to its full potential, because that's what I want. I really want a recording device so I can play all the newer games. Like, I plan on playing NBA 2K15 when that comes out. Not sure about the next Call of Duty. If it sucks, then I won't buy it and I'll play some Black Ops 2. Uh-oh, Napalm Strike coming in. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, Black Ops 2, uh, I'll probably still do some PS2 stuff. Um, I'll do both PS3 and PS4. Uh, hopefully in the future it's going to be more PS4. I hope to get Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS4. I have it for the PS3. Um... And also, I am looking for new members that can play with me in Syndicate. Oh, this is about to start. Yeah, but anyway, always looking for new members because we're kind of having, well, I'm kind of having problems with some of my friends on PlayStation. It's just hard to get together and play with them. Oh, follow Kenny Wallet. Watch out, Matt Kenzo. Swear to God, you fucking hit me, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, anyway, I think that's all, like, the business... Oh, fuck you, Herman Sander. Anyway, I think that's all the business... God. I think that's all the business that, uh... Like, serious talk stuff like that. So now I can just... Oh, you... Why does Herman Sadler hate me? I swear to God. Anyway, um, I think that's all that, like, the official business we have to go through and whatever. Now we can just sit back and play. Um, oh, I had something on my mind. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, oh yeah, I was going to say something about NASCAR, yeah. So, I just found out that my favorite driver is going to a uh, Toyota team, and as you might know, if you, or you might not know, but you will know eventually, I hate, oh fuck you, Kenny Wallace, dude. Uh, I hate Toyota, I just hate it. Uh, I hate their cars, I hate it, I just, I'm an American, oh shit! The fuck? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, not even a caution. All right. Um, I guess I'll take that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! I I didn't even see that coming, dude. <laughs> well, anyway, I hate Toyota with a burning passion, and I'm kind of for American cars, mainly Ford, as you can tell. And, uh, yeah, well, my favorite Ford driver well, and my fi current favorite participating NASCAR driver, Carl Edwards, is going to Toyota. So I've been really pissed about that because he's such a freaking spineless douchebag that's leaving the team and the car company that gave him everything. And he, in 2012, he got a big contract to come back to Ford and Roush. And, uh, he just, like, kind of left... Like, he took it, and then Matt Kenseth kind of felt left out because he wanted a nice big contract. Well, he didn't get it, so he wasn't going to resign the next season. He went to the same team Edwards is going to, where Edwards won zero races the year he signed that big contract, and Kenseth won, I believe, three or four. And now, Edwards is the reason why Kenseth left, and now he's going to the same team as Kenseth, which makes me hate him more. Fuck you, Ricky Craven. Oh, damn. Anyway. 
yeah, it makes me hate him even more. So, yeah. I don't know who's my favorite NASCAR driver's gonna be. That's like two years in a row I'm gonna have to replace my NASCAR driver because Bob Labonte went to semi retirement. Which sucks. Oh, well, yeah. So I think this series, I'm just gonna randomly talk about stuff, maybe not as much about the game because it's an old game. Uh, people who are watching this have probably seen it before. Uh, it's not like a big campaign where I have to be like very serious into it. Oh, it looks like they're fitting early. But, uh, just give me suggestions on what you want me to talk about, what you want me to do during these races, and I'll take any of them. Um, so, sometimes I'm, like, new to this whole, like, uh, recording and, uh, playing at the same time, so for some moments of time I might be, like, silent without even realizing it because I'm just, like, focusing so much on uh, driving, especially these NASCAR games, you really have to focus or you can get your ass kicked out from behind you, as Ward Burden is trying to get around me, but I'm not going to let him get around me. I think I might pin a little bit, though. Oh, you bitch. I might pit this time. Yes, I'm going to pit. Definitely going to pit. <laughs> yeah, just tap you. Yeah, there you go. A little love tap for you. Oh, oh Terry Labonte, you jackass, dude. I like you. What the hell? I'm your fan. Dude, I've liked you since I was, like, two. Just rear end me like that, dude? Not cool, bro. Dented the stripes, dude. The rookie stripes. Huh. Now, I wish there would be a NASCAR game where they'd show every team's picker. Oh, come on. Use your flipping gun, dude. It's not that hard. I've seen it done before. Anyway, I wish, like, someday, if. NASCAR ever gets a new, uh, like, producer instead of Eucentrics who's fucked over NASCAR in the video game world, uh, they should really, um, put, like, pit crews for everyone. I think that just looked much smoother and stuff like that. Maybe improve on the mechanics. Oh, shit, there goes Henry Sadler. Anyway, yeah, I think it'd improve on the mechanics and just make the game better. Now, my pick crew had a slow time, so I don't know where I'm going to end up in this field. I think I went into pit road, like, 13th or 14th, I forget. And so, as you'll notice through the series, it's kind of hard to, like, get going in the series and, like, um, like have a top car every time, which that's what I love about the game, because it makes it realistic and stuff like that. Now... I believe the only problem with the campaign is, like, you can't be signed to a team. Like, say, Mark Martin retires for Roush Racing, and Jack Roush just can't sign me to the car, and I'll drive for Jack Roush. The thing about this game is, like, if Mark Martin, say, he retires, you can, if you, you're good enough at the time, you can get his sponsorship, and you can get his number, and his car make, but, like, you won't be part of Roush Racing, which, oh, caution, I wonder what it's for. Yeah, but you won't get, like, any part of, uh, the team, which, I guess it's still cool that you can, like, kind of get the ride in their sponsorship, but, like, the fact that you can't join a team, which I don't think they improve upon to, like, NASCAR 06 or 07, I forget. But... Anyway, this is still the best NASCAR game, and in a way, this is like the best career mode. Because you're actually building a one-car team instead of the other NASCAR games where everything's kind of done for you. Oh, see? Che Labonte, your dumbass brought out a cop caution. I almost said caption. What the hell? Brought out a caution because you freaking lost your hood. We don't need to see it again. Mmm, should I? Should I? Nah. Alright. Now I hate single file restarts because it's so hard to catch the draft of the pack with a crappy car. Not saying my Ford is crap, it's just saying the equipment's crappy in general, even though it's kind of banged up right now. It's not because it's a Ford, so for all you Ford haters, and I know there are a lot of Ford haters in NASCAR, shit up.
Yeah. So. Anyway, oh, um, I'm also putting out some basketball card videos. Like, as you may know, I have another channel called Just Yard Worker. Not sure what I'm going to do with that channel yet. I honestly have no idea. I don't know if when this channel really gets going, if I'm going to keep it going or just focus all my attention onto J. Cobra Gaming. Except I do want to kind of do a few funny live action videos still, so I'm not sure if I put it on this channel. And, um, well, back to the basketball card thing. Like, I've just been going to, uh, the local supermarket near me and just buying, like, all these boxes of cards that are, like, 20, 30 years old. And it's just amazing what I've found, and I'm going to be posting a few videos about with those. Because, well, I just love collecting basketball cards. Like, uh, I've always been a NASCAR. Oh, Robbie Gordon's off his blown engine. Anyway, I've always been a NASCAR fan, like, probably since the first few months of my life, from what I've heard. And, um, not until recently, I've become a huge NBA fan due to the part of NASCAR kind of becoming retarded. And, uh, I went to my first, uh, uh, Bucks game. Well, I'm a Bulls fan, but our school went there. I'm like, hey, it's an NBA game. It's Bucks vs. Pacers. And that's when I really started to get into the the game of basketball. And then a few days later, I bought 2K14 for the PS4, and I was just hooked on that game. I had 2K13 before, and I've played like 2K11 and 2K12. But not until that I got 2K14 that I was like, I learned all the players all the teams, rosters, coaches, stuff like that, to where I've really become invested in it. So that's why you're probably going to see some basketball videos, like, cards-wise, and you're going to see a lot of 2K videos for sure. I plan, when I get my recording device, maybe starting a career... Oh, shit. I plan on starting a career mode where I televise, like, every single game. And, uh... I just... Oh, my God. 2K is the best sports game series in my opinion not gonna lie better than Madden better than NBA Live for sure 36 that's not really good <laughs> but yeah definitely better than NBA Live and any other sports genre I've ever played and um I just recommend to buy it because honestly the new trailer was released like two days ago it looks sick I, I, I just can't wait to get my hands on it. It's like coming out, out October 7th, so I'd really recommend for any like sports video games fans or video game fans that want to try something n new, buy that. NBA fans, whoever you are, just buy that game. Oh my god, it looks freaking sick. So many new game modes from what I've heard. Graphics look insane, and I just can't wait. Now on the other hand, in the NASCAR video game aspect, don't buy the NASCAR games. They're crap. They don't change. They're repetitive. Uh, you don't. You get all bones and no meat. I mean, it's terrible. They should really just stop making them. Or, I really hope like someone new t picks them up that will actually focus on the games, kind of like EA did in the earlier days. Like, if 2K could make like NASCAR 2K15 or 16, that'd be freaking amazing. Well, anyway. Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to end the video here. So, as always, like, subscribe, share, do whatever. That means so much to me, and I just really want to get my channel out there. Um, I really hope by this winter that I will have a recording device and everything. Now, it is going to be hard with school and having a job at the same time, so that's why I plan on doing it on weekends. And you'll just see a lot of me and Syndicate, like, uh, playing games just with each other. So, and I, I plan on uncutting, like, like, however you say that, like, to make, sh like, it's just me and Syndicate uncut, just messing around, hanging out over PlayStation. I also do intend to have Antonio in some videos, if you remember him from Just Yard Worker. Um, so, yeah. I, I think I'm going to end right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in NASCAR Thunder 2004. All right. Bye.